This is Wikipedia Speedrun, a game where you go from one Wikipedia article to another as quickly or in as few clicks as possible by only clicking the links on each page. And this is my AI, which scans through every link on a page to figure out the quickest route to the target. And in this video, I'm going to explain how this works, do a bunch of Wikipedia speedruns, and host the world's first Wikipedia speedrun competition, AI vs Humans edition. I'm going to get a bunch of AIs and a bunch of humans, aka my friends, and raise them against each other to see who will win. But first, rules. You gotta start at a given article, for example, potato, and you're giving a designated target article, for example, Barack Obama. And you can only get there by clicking the internal Wikipedia links. You can't use the search bar, you can't edit the URL, you can't use any external search engines, you play in one tab, and guess what? The back button is not allowed. So if you happen to end up in the Wikipedia page for Turkmengala in Turkmenistan, you're kind of cooked. Okay, let's do this. Before creating our cracked AI, we need to get the HTML for any Wikipedia page. We're gonna be scraping Wikipedia a lot during this video, so this is kind of important. Okay, let's use beautiful soup and voila, we have the HTML for the Wikipedia page of Potato. Fantastic. I even wrote this little function, so now you can see all the Wikipedia pages that Potato links to, and it's a lot. I can't lie, I didn't know potatoes were so important. Okay, cool, we have all the links from Potato, and let's just say we want to go to the Wikipedia page of Barack Obama. No reason why, it's just the first thing I could think of. Now, we have a problem. We need to decide which of all of these links to click on. If we go to a random link within the page, let's say Sweet Potato, we're not making that much progress. But if we click on United States, we're getting closer to our goal. So how can we tell which links are probably not gonna help us, like these, from links that would probably get us closer to Barack Obama? Well, here's where word embeddings come to the rescue. We can use an embedding model like BERT to calculate a vector representation for each of the links and then just choose the link with the least distance to Barack Obama. And as simple as that is, it actually kind of works. Check it out. We start as Potato, then we go to Anton Maouf. Uh, we take a slight detour to Vincent Van Gogh, to all of these people, but eventually we get to Vice President, President, President Elect, and finally to Barack Obama. Let's go. It's kind of convoluted, but it actually works. This took 52 seconds, so there's definitely some room for improvement. Boom, not everything has to go to Obama now. We can change the start link and the target link as much as we want now. For example, let's go from Pizza Farm, yes, apparently that's a thing, to Cristiano Ronaldo. Three, two, one, go. And bada bim bada boom, it's done. See? Again, it takes a slightly convoluted path, but hey, it works. Okay, hallucinogenic fish to Andre Karpathy. Boom, we're done. Sharknado 2 to William Shakespeare. And it gets it as well. At this point, it's working quite well. Right now, it's kind of slow, but before improving this, I want to take a moment to explain why this works and what are vector embeddings anyway. This is the word embedding for supercalifragilistic. Okay. Supercalifragilistic. Dang, this is hard. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. There you go. As you can see, it's a vector with a bunch of seemingly random numbers. In fact, 384 different numbers. And this is the word embedding for Mary Poppins, which to me also looks like another 384 dimensional vector of random numbers. But to a computer, these two words mean nothing. A computer can interpret them, so we have to translate them in some way. We have to come up with a numerical representation of these words. And it turns out that word embeddings are actually a pretty good way to do that. For example, let's visualize the vector embeddings of these words in 3D. As before, these vectors actually have 384 dimensions, but because I can't really visualize that in my head, we're going to plot them in a reduced vector representation. One of the coolest things about word embeddings is that similar words usually have similar word vectors. As you can see, the vectors for programming and coding are pretty similar, which makes sense since they mostly mean the same exact thing. And the vector embeddings for tomato and potato also point generally in the same direction. Isn't that cool? But we're not done. Check this out. If we take the word embedding of man and woman, we calculate the difference between their vectors, we take that difference and sum it to queen, we'll get something very, very similar to the vector embedding of king. So you can actually do straight up analogy reasoning. But the point is that by using word embeddings, we can make computers understand language. And this is how my Wikipedia speedrun AI works. For example, here's a 2D representation of the path from potato to Barack Obama. There's a lot going on 
on, but stay with me. The big nodes and the arrows represent the actual link path we took earlier to go from Potato to Barack Obama through the Wikipedia links. The little green dots are the Wikipedia articles that each of those pages links to, aka the wiki links that we didn't actually click on. For example, here's the wiki links going out of Potato and here's the wiki links going out of Obama. And as a reminder, we're trying to go from here to here. Also keep in mind that this is a 2D representation of the embedding vectors, so it's not 100% accurate, but I, I, I can't really think in 384 dimensions, so I think this will do. We first calculate which of the wiki links out of Potato is the closest to our target of Barack Obama. Turns out it's this guy again. Boom, sick. We go to the Wikipedia page for Anton Maouf, and we do the same thing right here. And wow, now there's a really promising link called White House at Night, and our AI gets all excited because this is really similar to the word embedding for Barack Obama, because, you know, the White House. But actually, jokes on you, AI, because this is the Wikipedia page for White House at Night, which has nothing to do with Barack Obama, and it's actually a painting by Vincent Bago. So then our AI gets mega, mega confused. It kind of gets stuck in a loop and starts visiting all these random people until eventually it gets to the Wikipedia page for Vice President, then President, and then finally Barack Obama. Now, normally this works a bit better than here. Like, for example, this is the path from Sharknado 2 to Shakespeare. As you can see, it didn't get as confused as before. It actually works quite well. Now, you might be asking, how do we actually get this word embeddings? The answer is that it's complicated, but basically people download the entire internet and use really big neural nets, normally with the transformer architecture and train on the entire internet. I'll link to some 3 blue one browns and stat quest videos below if you want to know more, but we're gonna get back to speedrunning, baby. Okie dokie. Now we need a way to evaluate our model. No more Potato Obama and Sharknado Shakespeare. We need something a bit more serious. We need more variety. We need Wikipedia special random. That's right, every time you go to this link, Wikipedia takes you to a random Wikipedia page. Let's write a few lines of code, run it 2000 times, and now we have 2000 random Wikipedia pages. Nice. But I can't lie, going from a random Wikipedia page to another is looking kind of tough. Like, how are you supposed to go from this to this? Come on. Now, we need some easy Wikipedia pages to get to. And I have the perfect thing. Wikipedia popular pages. A collection of the most popular Wikipedia pages ever. Barack Obama is here, John C Tina is here, Mount Everest is in the house, even green code is- nah, nah, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm, I'm not there, but you know, if, if you guys subscribe, maybe we can make it, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyways, this guy David is here, Mike Tyson is here, every celebrity is in here, and with a bit of web scraping magic, bada bim bada boom, we got a thousand more links, baby. And here's the part of the video where you realize how much of a dumbass I am, because I started running some evaluations like John Cena to Snoop Dogg, and life was great. You know, my model was working, sometimes it was taking 20 seconds, sometimes 60, sometimes 190 seconds. And I thought, you know what, that's not too bad, no? Like, it would probably take me two or three minutes to do each one of these. I was wrong. It's really bad. Basically, I'll calculate the distance between word embeddings through something called cosine similarity. I won't bother you with the details, but essentially, you want the angles between two word vectors, and to do that, you need to calculate the inner product between your vectors. And like a caveman, I was doing this big, fat for loop. I was calculating the inner product between the target word embedding and a link word embedding individually and then checking which wiki link was closest to the target. But if you know about vectorization and like these three lines of NumPy, you can do the same thing much, much faster. Anyway, I fixed it. And remember how Potato to Obama took 52 seconds? Now it takes six seconds. Yeah, my boy is fast. Computer programming to Potato takes 2.6 seconds. Sharknado 2 to William Shakespeare, 1.6 0406 seconds. I've created a speed running monster. Look at this thing, it's fast as f. But we gotta challenge it a bit, so let's take the 3000 Wikipedia pages I found before and start running some evaluations. And while this is running, I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant is an online learning platform for computer science, science, and math. They're super awesome and have been supporting this channel a lot over the past year. They have some of the best computer science and math educational courses on the internet. They make learning super fun with all of these puzzles and mini games to test your knowledge. You learn by doing, which is the best way to learn, in my opinion. I actually had an 81 day streak on their app. Recently, I took their introduction to neural nets course to refresh a bit on the fundamentals and it was so fun, so I would definitely recommend it. 
But if you want something more advanced, they have courses that go much, much in depth into other fascinating AI topics. So if you want to help me keep making videos and learn some computer science and math, click the link in the description for a free trial and a 20% discount on the annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to all of their fun courses. Okay, the evaluations are done and we got some interesting results. Check this out. This is the distribution of how long it takes our AI to find the target Wikipedia pages. As you can see, it finds most challenges pretty quickly. For example, Elon Musk to Tajikistan, four links and 1.6 seconds. Easy work. Or the 2019 NFL season to the Inca Empire, three links and 1.46 seconds. But all of these are quite common. Now, remember how we got random Wikipedia pages? When a random Wikipedia page is the target page, our AI goes kind of crazy. But it makes sense, right? Like, how are you supposed to find this thing? Like a species of ground beetle in the subfamily of pieces what like it's kind of impossible and since i put a time limit of a maximum of 60 seconds that's why there's so many dots at 60 seconds if we plot the percentage of successful wikipedia speedrun by the final page category we can clearly see what's going on the random category is too unhinged i mean just look at the numbers they, they speak for themselves now at this point we got some good results uh, with this ai but i was curious to see what would happen if you put an llm to do a wikipedia speedrun Run. First, to see how well it does on this really hard random category, but also to see if it could get the target Wikipedia page with significantly fewer clicks. Because our first AI player is fast, but it's averaging 43 links, which is kind of a lot. And since this summer, I actually completed the Google Summer of Code at Google DeepMind and I have some experience with their models, I decided to put Gemini to the task. So I coded up a new player, I prepared an initial prompt that looks like this, and oh boy, was they in for a surprise. LLMs are good at Wikipedia speedrunning. Let's test it out. Okay, this is our target page and this is where we start. Go. Bada beam, bada bam, bada boom. Say goodbye. It's so good. I ran the same 500 Wikipedia speedrun challenges that I ran on my first AI and not only is it completing more challenges, but look at these distributions. They're beautiful. Now, again, it's also struggling when the end category is random, but it's doing much, much better than our first AI. But are they faster? Well, here's the thing. To speedrun, I use Gemini Flash and Gemini Flash Lite because their API response is almost instant. I tried using Gemini 2.5 Pro, but Bro is too slow. I'm sure I'm sure he's the best, like, or at least that's what everyone is saying, but it's too slow to speedrun. Anyway, here are the results. I'm glad to say that my first little AI is actually doing better than Gemini Flash, but Gemini Flash Lite is just destroying everyone. On average, it takes 14 seconds seconds. That is nuts. Gemini Flash is a bit slower, almost 30 seconds, and that's because I think it's a larger model, so it takes slightly more time for the model to run. However, it is the master at getting to the target wiki page in as few clicks as possible. I mean, look at this. Here are some more pretty graphs in case you're interested, but to end this video, I wanted to see how well humans would do against the AIs at Wikipedia speedrunning. So I organized the first international Wikipedia speedrun competition. AI versus human edition. I gathered a bunch of humans, aka my friends, and I had them compete on the same Wikipedia challenges as AI. And to motivate them a bit more, I put a $50 prize for the fastest human winner. I know, I know, I'm, I'm basically Mr. Beast at this point. Okay guys, welcome to the first international Wikipedia speedrun competition, AI versus humans. Um, you're gonna have to go from like one Wikipedia page to another by only clicking the links within each page. I mean, normally you're not allowed to like control F, but since since you're going against AI, I, I mean, I think it's only fair. There's gonna be two competitions, a time competition with five challenges where the only thing that matters is how quickly you go to the target Wikipedia page and the other competition with three challenges where you have to go to the target with as few clicks as possible. Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and the first challenge I chose was PewDiePie to mitochondria. Okay, sending the first link, guys. I'm gonna test your biology knowledge. Let's get it. Oh my God. Three, two, one, go. The first challenge started and the humans were having some problems. Is it a bacteria? bacteria. Oh, oh, it's, it's like a part like <laughs> within a the cell. Oh, he's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Go by energy, but it doesn't let me. Holy, oh, this is tough. Hey, it's Wikipedia. This Wikipedia is, is false. How is it false, yeah. dude? What do you mean? 
is this? It's not my local one. <laughs> but eventually, everyone managed to finish. For the second round, I chose Barbie to Batman, and it actually went quite well, with Quantcode finishing in 17 seconds. But now came something more challenging. Carlos Alcaraz to GOAT, like, <laughs> like an actual GOAT. And at first, the humans were pretty confident. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be an interesting one. It's okay. gonna be very fast, right? Or, or no? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Oh. How's this one so tough? I don't can't get the links. Now everyone finished, but someone was having some problems. I'm cooked. Well, why yeah. am I in religion? <laughs> 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 How do I get out of this? <laughs> oh, me. No, it's just like, well, so I went into Latin and I'm cooked. Oh my days. <laughs> I, oh my days, second DNF. Oh, there we yeah. go. Let's go. He's the goat of uh, running, so I think that counts. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No, we'll stop here, boys. We played a couple of more rounds, and there were definitely some interesting moments. Oh my god. Dude, no, no, dude. I'm gonna get demonetized. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. F I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> no, everyone, come on to my stream. <laughs> No, 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 yo, 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 <laughs> chill, chill. But in the end, the humans averaged 2 minutes and 16 seconds. However, the AIs had an insane 12 second average. But I mean, that was expected. Like, the AIs are speedrunning gods. But what I was most interested was the next competition, getting to different Wikipedia pages in the least amount of clicks. We started with a classic, Grass to Computer Science. Okay, 3, yeah. 2, 1, go. How many links are you guys in for now? Uh, One, two, four, yeah. including grass. Oh, I got it. Okay, yeah. I did four links. That's, that's really decent, bro. We played two more rounds, like Bog to Kim Jong-un, Cristiano Ronaldo to Water, and in the end, the humans actually ended up outperforming the... I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, the AIs actually won. But it was so close. It was neck and neck. The AIs averaged 3.6 links and the humans 4.3. However, something I haven't told you is that some of these AIs were actually trained with Wikipedia data. So in a way, they had a big unfair advantage. So the fact that humans got so close to beating AI is a win for humanity, from my perspective. Okay, time to announce the winners. The winner for the time challenges was Claude Haiku 4, followed very closely by Gemini Flash Lite. And for the minimum number of link challenge, there was a tie between Gemini 2.5 Pro and Claude. Obviously, this was only tested 8 times, so it's not a definitive answer. Actually, comment LAMP down below if you want me to do a second part to this video. Now, for the human competition, my friend Joao actually cooked. He averaged 1 minute and 3 seconds and 4 links in both of the competitions. He's pretty crack. Anyway, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was probably one of my favorite videos to make, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.